Hey everybody, welcome back for another car wash review. I am back up in Belleville, Ontario. Uh, and you guys made it happen. I the last time I did this uh, wash, I complained on how expensive it was. It was eighteen dollars and seven cents with tax. It was the uh, Shell Choice wash, and uh, I did the Touch version. Version, and yeah, I complained on how expensive it was. And I said I'd never be back um, because of that to do the uh, the touchless version and but then I said at the end of the video that if I got 20 likes on it uh, I would come back and, and do it for you and uh, you guys definitely did that I think we did uh, got 26 likes on it so far so I'm a man of my word and uh, I'm back now and uh, I'm gonna do the uh, touchless uh, I did a gas purchase this time because in all fairness last time I was uh, here I did not get gas and uh, it was like I said eighteen dollars and seven cents this time I did get gas and with tax the car wash cost me fifteen dollars and eighty one cents so uh, yeah about two dollars and fifty cents or so whatever uh, difference <clears throat> and uh, they even still have the little outdoor miniature golf thing set up here uh, this is uh, just off of Front Street, uh, right off the uh, 401. Uh, it's right near the, uh, this is the Belleville uh, Quinty Mall. And uh, yeah, that's the gas station there. And uh, we just got, I think we just got to drive around the, the side there to go in. Uh, there's also a Canadian Tire just down the, just down the street there across from the mall and they had a car wash that I reviewed last time as well so I'll get out now the last wash that I did you got would be the, the last one that I just posted uh, probably a couple of days ago uh, it was the uh, the new Esso uh, <clears throat> excuse me wash and uh, I was disappointed on how uh, the job that it did so We'll get out and have a look at the vehicle here and we'll see uh, what's still remaining on it after that wash. Uh, the sides in that were somewhat clean. Uh, you can see a couple of the little spots here. We'll see if that comes off. I know the back it had left some dirt. Yeah, here. It didn't get inside the little groove there. This side's relatively clean. There's slight dirt up there. I don't know if the camera will even pick it up. Same thing with here. Actually, there's still uh, some blue. See if that'll pick it up. Some blue uh, soap residue. I didn't even notice that from before. Uh, some bugs and specks and stuff on the, the hood. The front has still got a lot of uh, a lot of bugs in that on the front, even there on the side. Uh, we'll see if it gets this dirt here off. So yeah, it's got a few areas it can uh, see if it cleans. Ugh. Give me a, a uh, wash code. There it is at the bottom. Is open there. I don't know if they were doing some maintenance inside. Welcome to shop. Get your code number now. Uh. Your code number has been accepted. Please put your vehicle in neutral. Please keep your hands on the wheel for outside your 
Huh. For larger vehicles, keep your hands on the steering wheel to help guide your vehicle through. I've never heard that before. That's what the, I don't know if you, if the camera picked that up. <laughs> Start with a bit of a pre soak. I'm not sure if I'm getting an underbody spray or not. Normally, if I do, I can either hear it or feel it on my feet, and I'm not. So I'm not sure. Decent coverage of pre-soak, mainly in the front. Oh, it's got the did the back. Trifold. Also doing pretty good coverage. a lot of water on the windshield there, a lot of spots. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to bother using my wipers and that. We'll see if that, uh, how that dries, if it's going to leave water spots or not. Just going to go back over where I was. Actually, I pull up here in the shade and then maybe I'll see a bit better. Oh, a lot of water on the back window too, I just noticed. Um, before I get out and, and uh, show this, I'm, what I didn't like about this one, and, and the, the whole time I was going through that wash, I kept thinking of the, every time I go through a touchless system where it's like on a conveyor, I don't know why, but I always compare it to... Um, the Canadian Tire Wash in Brantford. It was one of the the first, one of the early uh, car wash reviews I've uh, I've ever done. If I think about it, I'll put it in the uh, description below. But I really like that for a touchless system that pulls you through a conveyor. I really, really like that system. It, it's always I've been through it many times. 
Um, it always seems to do a fairly good job, and it's it's always doing something. I, yeah, I gotta put the. I'll make sure I put the um, check out in the description or in the um, below in that. Uh, I'll put the link down below in the description, but uh, check it out and you'll see what I'm talking about. But because uh, I can't recall the name of the system off off the top of my head, but the the whole time you're going through that system stuff is stuff is being applied or you're you're constantly having like high pressure um uh like blasters and that hitting your vehicle and stuff like it's, it's like never a dull moment so to speak and when the uh i noticed on this one we were going through um the uh the blasters and that were hitting say the window but they, it was just a steady stream so it was just coming up straight and they, they were so far gapped like what's really ha like what's really being done in between like the the canadian tire one uh the blasters they're going back and forth back and forth and it's just covering a greater area to me doing doing a better job that way so like i haven't even gone obviously haven't even gotten out and, and seen this maybe this wash did a great job but it just um makes me a little skeptical when uh when I compare it to that, it just the Canadian tire just seems so much better. So, anyways, enough rambling. I'll get out, and we'll see for ourselves. Uh, still left some of this, and actually, I can still. Let me see if I can do this. Let's see if it'll pick it up. If I put my finger across there, I don't know if you can see, but there's still dirt streaks. Whoop. There's still dirt streaks in there, and it's never got that dirt out. So cleaned it a little bit, but not uh, not completely. Uh, still got a couple of these two spots. I noticed them uh, before too. Uh, soap coming down there. We'll see what happens. Uh, still got dirt in here. Oh, jeez! Look at this. Didn't even touch this. You can still see where I had. When I did the uh, car wash, uh, the, the SO one in uh, Ancaster, I, I rubbed my finger across here. You can still see my finger streaks and the dirt is still uh, still there as well. Uh, yeah, there's some faint streaks of that up there. Doo -doo. I don't know if that's dirt or... Oh, this is some gut down there. Da, da, da. I still got some bugs there. Still lots of bugs on the on the front, but I know they're really hard to get off. Yeah, they still got some there, but I mean it's definitely cleaner than after the uh, after the SO one, but so that's two two washes that I've gone through in a short period of time here within a couple of days, and uh, still haven't gotten everything off. So, well, we'll see what system I do next. Stay tuned for that, and uh, we'll see if we can get this car clean eventually. <laughs> <laughs> go through enough car washes we would hope so anyways but let me know what you think of this one down in the comments below uh so that's uh completes this one last time i did the touch this time i did the touchless uh let me know what you thought of this one and uh if you had to come to this wash which one would you get the touch or the touchless um but uh that concludes this one i really don't have much else to say on it uh but uh well, actually, the uh, I think the spot-free rinse seems to be decent because as those water water is drying that on the windshield, it's not really leaving very noticeable spots in that. So that part's good. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, we uh, will see you on the next one. All right, take care. Bye bye.